My name is uh, Yasmin. I work in higher education and I come from Egypt. Uh, I suppose the one thing I would change, there are many things I would change and uh, the Arab Spring has given us lots of hopes about uh, things that we want to change and we want to improve in the region. But I suppose if there's one thing I would want to change would be, uh, that would be education. And it's, it's a little bit complicated when it comes to the uh, Arab region because uh, uh, you have to work in parallel in two directions. In a country like where I come from, uh, you have uh, uh, lots of uh, deficiencies in, in uh, childhood education up to higher education, as well as you have uh, lots of deficiencies in uh, uh, adult illiteracy. And we have around 40% of adult uh, literacy in Egypt alone. Uh, I suppose I need to first work on uh, childhood education and higher education. We've heard a lot of... Um, during the past years and years and decades, we've heard a lot of money being injected into the educational system, uh, money coming from the government, money coming from uh, foreign aid uh, organizations, but you don't know really if this money has went to its right um, uh, constituents or not. And you don't know if these financial resources have truly went to those who need it um, or not, because if they have, then you wouldn't have an educational system like the one we have uh, back home. Um, I think it has to be, education has to be a government priority, uh, has to be number one priority on the government's agenda. Uh, if you have it as a government priority, then every other constituent in the educational system will feel the importance. Uh, that way uh, teachers will go to class wanting to teach and uh, feeling the importance of the role in society and not just going to teach just for the you know few pennies that they get. And the uh, kids themselves, they will feel the importance of the, their education. Uh, they will uh, not go to school just, you know, to please parents or just, you know, please some uh, social satisfactions uh, that people have uh, or expectations that people have out of them. They'll get engaged into, um, uh, you know, liberal thinking, into uh, discussions and not just being able to read and write. And this is, I think, is very important. Um, in parallel with that, you also have to eradicate illiteracy. You cannot really work on the kids, you cannot work on the children, and not work uh, on the parents, uh, who actually primarily and foremostly uh, encourage the kids to go to school. So you have to do that as well. In, in countries like ours, if you invest uh, um, in education, you're actually investing in every other angle in the society and every uh, aspect of the individual. So if you're investing in his education, you're basically uh, teaching him not to throw trash on the street. You're uh, basically teaching him to respect women, not to harass women. You're teaching the parents uh, how to uh, raise their kids as good citizens. So you're actually investing in every socioeconomic aspect in the society and uh, it's going to affect it all. It's a dominant effect.